Hello everybody and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today we are talking about the difference between telemedicine and telehealth. Watch this video to find out if telemedicine and telehealth mean the same. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Let's start. Let's start with definitions. According to the Health Resources Services Administration, telehealth is the use of electronic information and telecommunications technologies to support long-distance clinical health care, patient and professional health-related education, public health, and health administration. It states that telehealth includes non-clinical medical services, while telemedicine means providing only traditional clinical services. So what is the difference between them? To begin with, telehealth is a broader term than telemedicine. Telehealth can use any technology that enables it to store, analyze, and share information. It includes practice management systems, patient portals, and mobile health applications. Telemedicine includes the use of telecommunication systems for doctors. It helps to see their patients via video or still images. For example, you can make a video appointment with a doctor if you have a sore throat. Let's now review the types of telemedicine. We define store and forward telemedicine, which implies sharing necessary patient information and images with another specialist. Telemonitoring, that means using a variety of technologies for remote monitoring, and real-time telemedicine, that provides urgent medical advice to patients who need it. To know more about the role of app development companies in medical diagnostics, check out the article we have prepared. The link is in the description. What is the importance of telemedicine and its advantages? 83% of patients want to use telemedicine even after the COVID-19 crisis because telemedicine has a lot of advantages, such as receiving high quality care from home, no long waiting in queues, helping patients with chronic conditions. So thanks to telemedicine and technologies, it's easy to track their health outcomes. Telemedicine is the best solution for mental and emotional health conditions, as telemedicine companies connect patients to therapists day and night. Telemedicine is very popular in radiology and psychiatry. Telemedicine is beneficial for travelers, as it can be challenging to find a good medical specialist and get health treatment abroad, and no regular visits to the clinic. And have you ever used telemedicine apps? Share your experience in the comments. Let's now move on to the goals of telehealth. Telehealth helps in solving the problem of doctor shortages, remote medical education and training, patient interaction, as technologies make taking control of health easy for patients, and communicating with providers. Medical staff can collaborate and share information via telehealth platforms to provide the best treatment for patients. What are telehealth benefits? Telehealth is the best option for everyone who wants to receive essential health care while staying at home. So, we are excited to review the list of telehealth benefits. The first benefit is convenience. 65% of patients using telehealth services say it's more convenient than meeting a doctor at a clinic. Safety is the second benefit. 63% of patients say they like using telehealth as they are protected from other sick patients. Time is the third benefit. So, you can make a video appointment with a doctor at any time you need. The fourth advantage is choice. Approximately half of Americans state that if they chose to use telehealth services after COVID-19, it would still be essential to choose a healthcare specialist to see and speak with by themselves. What are the examples of telehealth? Well, during the COVID-19 pandemic, the list of Medicare telehealth services has expanded. In this list, we define patient portal. The portal allows you to talk to your doctor, request prescription medication refills, read test results and resumes of earlier visits, and plan future appointments and set reminders. Online doctor appointments. Patients receive consistent health care from a usual doctor when it is impossible to visit a doctor in person. Other online appointments include visiting a nurse through the web. Well. Telehealth involves a lot of different services. Telemedicine is a narrower term than telehealth. 
therefore it is easier to understand. So, do you think the telemedicine apps will gain even more popularity in the future? This video is prepared by the Jelvix team. Jelvix helps top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We provide world-class enterprise software engineering, design, and technology consulting services. Find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.